Hi. So today I want to talk about Prince Andrew back in the news again because of his um, misconduct with underage girls allegedly I want to say allegedly throughout this whole video because it's alleged hi guys thank you so much for stopping by um i'm really sorry but the the quality of the video is a bit um cloudy i think there was some on my thing so um you know on the lens so i'm sorry about that but this video i think um you know I've, i'm telling some some important information so we're just gonna work with it okay bye oh hello welcome it's Jadine, oh yeah, it's Jadine, uh uh uh, it's Jadine, it's Jadine. So, as I think everyone knows, Prince Andrew is under fire because of his close relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. I was Epstein, Epstein. Anyways, he's dead now. <laughs> So he was a loser and a child abuser and um, may or may not have hung himself in prison. Um, so he's, you know, no longer around. But Prince Andrew, just like lots of other celebrities, um, such as um, Bill Cosby, he's in prison. Uh, what's his face? Um, oh, what's his name now? That old man, the old one with the Zimmer framing cart. Oh, Harry, what, Harry, he, he, something, oh, what's his name? Anyways, whatever, here's another one. Um, so, Prince Andrew, being a royal, uh, in, he is uh, the Queen's son. Um, he's been a, accused of um, sleeping with underage uh, girls um, and possibly being involved in child trafficking. Um, and I just wanted to talk about this because uh, as, a, as a nurse, you, you know by now um, that I'm a nurse, we have to do training on um, like safeguarding children, safeguarding adults. Um, and a few of the things that we learn about is the fact that people do exploit children so there's a thing called county lines um there's a county lines kind of operation because there was a lot of children being um taken across the county from uh, yorkshire to the pennines um or vice versa um or different counties and they were basically being used to sell drugs um so that's another route of child exploitation <laughs> Uh, you take a kid, you you get them to um, to take some drugs or take something from you as an adult. Then you use that against the child to exploit them. Excuse my nails, like I did them myself, so they've all like fallen off and stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna start that at some point. But um, yeah, it's very disturbing what people do to children, um, and the the sexual exploitation of young girls especially has been in the news in recent years um there was a case that was quite big in rochdale look at my head editing jadine here i mean in rotherham rotherham not rochdale please excuse me thank you where a lot of young girls were being used as sex slaves and stuff it's all very dark and and deep and horrible um and the effects that that can be caused by all this horrible trauma you know to that child can lead to them you know going further down into drugs further down into sex work could go the other way where they could self-harm or 
have suicide attempts or actually commit suicide um there's there's also a lot of disturbing behaviors that they can display or odd behaviors that they could display because they have been a victim um and as somebody in the royal family prince andrew i think he was was he married maybe not i don't think he was i can't remember but the fact is that he should know better we have a higher expectation when it comes to the royal family um you know they are supposed to be the the role models and the you know representation of of the british people that's why they go and do so many visits and stuff to different countries and to see different politicians and such um so it is pretty disgusting that their power was used in that way you know allegedly um because prince andrew definitely has to answer some difficult questions as to his conduct with his good friend who is he said that he was friends with um jeffrey epstein um so you know that's that's his first mistake right there isn't it but his he did an interview and he denied it and such and it's just something that to see it being plastered on the news all these different girls that have come forward and stuff i find it really really disturbing that this was going on for so long and nobody was the whistleblower nobody said this is not right you know how many years that this was going on for and um the allegations and not something that's a recent thing this is allegations from the, the historical you know um cases so it's just i think i'm more more concerned about the actual girls or boys that have been exploited and where's their support you know can we do better to prevent this happening i think you know as a health professional seeing young you know young adults and children and stuff i you know age appropriate as as possible you try and make them aware of you know having safe sex having um you know awareness of protection and awareness of of how to keep themselves safe but that is a responsibility for the parents to actually educate their children and to monitor their children's activities and make sure that they're keeping them safe um and you know not by just saying you know la 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 it doesn't exist if i don't talk about it you know it's about educating and being honest with your kids there's bad people out there you know you need to stay away from them these are the signs to look out for why would an old uh, an older man want to be about uh, around younger girls say why would um a group of men want to have young girls around um and you know the kind of relationship that you have to build with your child to grow that trust so that they feel like they can actually speak to you and to confide in you about okay this this happened to me or you know because i feel like that would save some lives um and in regards to prince andrew and the allegations i feel like he needs to be held accountable um i feel like he should be honest um and you know if there are true is if there are truths to this to these allegations i can't even speak you know how i am um if there is some truth to it then just saying i was wrong you know it will he'll probably be rewarded for that um not rewarded but have a lesser sentence maybe or 
I don't know I don't even care if he gets 20 years 30 years 50 years it doesn't matter to me I feel like you know he deserves as much as possible because if he did do that and abuse young girls and cause them trauma then I'm always going to support accountability and and actually being caught and apprehended and paying the price for the crime i think that's important so yeah i just think that we need to uplift the victims i feel like all these older um influential types i hope that we keep getting the the truth out there and that they are held accountable because even if it happened 20 years ago it still happened to that person and they deserve to have justice no one should be putting their hands on anybody you know that's not consensual and if they're underage then they can't consent so you know i don't want to don't want to hear any excuses about about uh minor attracted people um you know at the end of the day if they've hurt a child or if they've contributed to sex trafficking or having children exploited then they should be held accountable for that anyways i would love to know what you think what do you think about what i've said do you believe that um i wanted to say harry weinstein uh george uh george what's his name prince andrew <laughs> prince andrew um should he face consequences for his actions should there be more investigations um on these books and blackmail um files that this epstein had on people um i think that's that's something that should be coming out i mean at the end of the day He's kept very quiet about it. Do you think that he should just hold his hands up? Do you think it's unlikely to happen? Let me know your thoughts. Give me a comment down below. Watch some videos. If you like me, subscribe. And um, yeah, don't forget to put your notifications on so you know that I'm going to upload every single Wednesday. Bye. Eee, eee. And then I even subscribe.